what has happened is a colossal military disaster. We shall go on to the end. We shall never surrender. I play Alex, who's uh, just a young British soldier. Um, and he's, he's, he's nice. I think when he meets um, Finn and an Iron's characters, he's kind of... He, he feels like he's a little more experienced than them. He's a little kind of more edgy, but at the same time, he's obviously just as scared of dying as everyone else is. Um, I think he starts out by kind of trying to help them a little bit, and then, you know, he's you know, we'll kind of do anything to survive. So he's a little, um, maybe a little tougher on, in terms of what he thinks being at war is supposed to be. Um, but I think by the end, it's just kind of instinctive camaraderie of, you know, we're in a tight spot and we're on the same team, so we'll kind of do anything to get out of it. Yeah, I played Tommy, who's a young private, and he's clearly much less experienced than Harry's character. Um, I think I'd also probably say he's probably a bit more compassionate, maybe because of his age and lack of experience. So he doesn't have quite the same uh, mindset as Alex does. He's a bit less harsh, a bit more hopeful in some ways. But still with that drive to get home that all of the characters have, I think. Um, yeah, I think there's a good contrast between the two, between all three of us actually, between me, Harry, Anne and I, and we're all very different in, um, very different in lots of ways, but all with the same objective. I've always been a massive fan of uh, Chris's movies and um, I think just getting to watch him work was uh, felt like a big part of the whole experience. It was, it was very surreal getting to watch him work every day and um, it just felt pretty amazing to be involved in the, in the project really with, with him going. Yeah, no, similarly, I was a big fan. Um, He's obviously got an amazing mind and is a genius. I think enough people will tell you that. But uh, what I really liked is how he is on set. It means that he creates a very kind of close, kind of intimate vibe, even though you're surrounded by these huge scale sets and massive warships and spitfires overhead. He's very present all the time, very hands-on. They need to send more ships. Every hour the enemy pushes closer. They've activated the civilian boats. Civilians? We need to destroy it. I went out uh, two weeks early to Dunkirk and trained with the stunts quite intensely for two weeks and just they just put me through my paces really. Just the kind of military style training. We didn't go to a boot camp or anything, but a lot of them are ex military, so they had me doing weapons training and swimming in the sea and circuit training and a bit of boxing and all kinds of things like that, really. So just a lot of uh, swimming while heavy, I think, was yeah. like the main kind of preparation, I think it was. Swimming in trench coats. Yeah, a lot of uh, more wool, I'd say, than I've swam in before. Um, to make a habit of swimming Yeah, I think it was, it was good just to kind of, you know, get an idea of how heavy you were going to be while you know doing that stuff and I think it definitely helped to just prepare you rather than going in the first day and being like oh this is this is quite heavy. If you'll fight on the beaches, if you'll fight on the landing ground, we shall never surrender. Being in the place where it actually happened it's uh, you know, every time you would break between shots, you could kind of tell everyone was kind of, everyone's like very aware of where they were standing. And I think it made it quite um, intense, just in, in general. I feel like everyone was very aware of where they were and everything that happened there. And it's, um, it's such an eerie beach. It's not like, a, you know, everyone who goes to visit it is going because so many people died there. And it's, um, yeah, it, it has kind of a weird, um, there's like an eeriness to it, so it made it the dynamic of filming there interesting. Sort of like a very sobering thing to go through, and um, 
kind of added something to the film and made us realise, I think, if you hadn't already before, how much respect and subtlety you had to treat this topic with, because they were real people, it was a terrible event, and it's not something to be taken lightly. You can't just go in and do an all-guns-blazing action movie, you've really got to treat it with the respect it deserves, I think.